Bix of the Fields here. Hello. He's already broken something today. <laughs> Greetings RC Model Geeks and here we are in the shed, it's part 4 of the Hobby King J3 Cub build. And Bix of the Fields here, Hello. he's already broken something today. Yeah. Oh <laughs> Jesus Christ, I gave him one of these. Well you said it was bent. So I said look, it's, got, it's a little bit warped so, so sort of bent it. Phil's idea of fixing it was to snap it in half <laughs> and I had to glue it back together again. Oh, Jesus wept. So, anyway, we're on the wing. Now, first problem for the day is that the uh, the slots in the rib, that little slot there, uh, is too narrow. Um, this bit of wood here should slot into that, and it doesn't. So I've got to go through all the ribs and just file out that little notch just there. Just tease a bit out. Yeah, just tease it out. Luckily, it's exactly the same size as the file. So uh, that will be good. So I've got to do that first. So that's however many ribs, whatever, 20 ribs or so to file out. But, you know, you see, you've got to check these things first. Yeah, before you start gluing. Yeah, or before you give it to somebody to break. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Right, back in a minute when we've um, <laughs> done some filing. Okay, a quick diversion while we were um, looking for the wing parts. Um, I found a fuselage part. F28. Now, good old F28 isn't on any of the drawings. Uh, it can only go in one place. Uh, and that's right inside the tail to give it uh, a bit of extra strength for the um, the tail wheel and stuff. So um, we've got to retrofit that inside here. So what we're going to do is put some epoxy on there and drop it in. And drop it in, shove it, shove it up in there, and it basically sits inside at the back there. So uh, yeah, we're going to get on with that. But as you can see, we're um, mapping out the wing quite nicely. That's uh, that's getting there. So uh, yeah, it doesn't look too difficult to uh, build. Minuscule amount of fettling on the ribs was needed. Um, but apart from that, it's uh, looking good so far. So back with you when we've done some more. Okay, does, uh, has anybody spotted my deliberate mistake? <laughs> uh, yes, I got these two round the wrong way. This is the this is the good thing about dry fitting it all first. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's not glued anyway. No, so. luckily it's not glued, so I can swap them around. But I'm going to have to change this anyway. This is for mounting the servo. Of course, you know what? I thought I'd be smart this time, and I thought rather than. Uh, having a normal servo, you know, not like they normally you stick them in on their side when they go in the wing. I thought I'd go and buy um, uh, wing servos. Uh, sod's law, this one's designed for a normal servo. So, anyway, the postman's been in it, Phil. Yep. <laughs> It's, uh, it's four o'clock, by the way, because we had to go and collect it because he turned up too early and I was still in bed. So Phil's going to open the box in his very subtle way. Yeah, you know me. Yeah, I know you, Phil. Oh. Come on, Phil. Don't rush me. Couldn't fight your way out of a paper bag, could you? Hey, oh dear, oh dear. I that once, look. Oh, here we go, no, it's full of air again. The knife's sharp, yeah, blunt, I mean. Hey, what have we got in there, Phil? Well, we've got four. Four servos, two different types. Yep. Oh, just two different types, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's nice. Ah, look at that. That's nice and small, isn't it? Hey. Look at that dinkiness. There's a wing servo. It's a Corona. 239MG. Is that digital metal gear? Oh, I yeah. think it might be, yeah, D, yeah, it's digital. a 339 MG, this one. Yeah, uh, that's a wing servo, that's a, like um, a full size, yeah. or the equivalent of a full size, but in a in a flat pack. And these are the ordinary servos? Um, and obviously they're meant to mount like that. They're ordinary ones. 
low profile. And there's the ordinary ones. Yeah, I've got some ordinary uh, Coronas as well. Well, then they're, mm, they're just slightly under normal size, actually. Those. But digital Metal Gear again. Um, I like the Corona ones. These are seven quid or something. And um, yeah, never had a problem with the Corona ones. Very good. So yeah, so that's some servos for the plane. So uh, we are getting there. So I'm going to have to modify this anyway. Move that rib back over to there. Not yet, Swap anyway. that around there. Uh, and then adjust it so I can actually fit that uh, in there correctly. Oh. Yep. A little bit of reinforcement. Thin metal wing servo. There you go. Mm. Everybody playing at home. And it's yeah. uh, DS239MG. Yes, that is a 239MG. Corona. There you go. Digital servo. Yeah. And these ones are uh, 339. Metal. What are they? Metal gear. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I quite like those. So, uh, yeah, I've got to um, come up with a little solution for that. Um, but, yeah. Uh, no real obvious problems uh, on here, apart from we do a little bit of filing of the ribs. Um, yeah, so now we know the rough uh, methodology of how this wing goes together, I can um, uh, get on with uh, gluing it and bodging it. So, oh, I haven't done the aileron yet. I've got to work out the aileron part as well. But, uh, That's yeah. the sort of, what do you call them, stays? What do you call them thingers? Um, uh, the wingy thingies. Things that hold the wing up. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's a fiction of the wing. Oh, do you know what? I feel I've been hanging around you too long today, mate. My mind's gone completely <laughs> blank. <laughs> struts. Struts. Oh. Wing struts. There you go. That's the struts. word you were looking for. Yeah, that's the mounting plates for the wing See, struts. See, I'm used to there. boats, really. We don't have some yeah, struts. Well, yeah, yeah, but they sunk, didn't they? <laughs> uh, no. Is that why you are into wind sailing, was it? Windsurfing, yeah. Windsurfing, that, stuff, that was yeah. it. Uh, windsurfing. Yeah. yeah, windsurfing. That's the word I was looking for. See, I'm my brain is completely addled. <laughs> That's two hours of you, mate, that is. <laughs> Come back, Mag Collin, all is forgiven. <laughs> so, uh, another delivery will be turning up tomorrow, uh, which is the motor and ESC. Uh, and we'll see what that is like as well. But anyway, I'm going to get on uh, and see if I can get this wing glued up. I don't want to hang around too long, really. Um, I want this flying by the weekend. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. Right, it's back got, soon. It's going to be yellow. Isn't it? Oh, he's giving it away! Ah! Well, the Cubs surprise. Are always, Cubs are always the yellow. The surprise. Cubs are always yellow. Not unless it's a flip fire. Flip fire? No, a flip fire. Flip fire. I don't know a flip fire. Ah, uh, I see. I do. That's because I read the comments in YouTube. Oh, well, I don't read that. Probably. <laughs> 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 yeah, if you if you want a nice looking cub, check out the Flip Fire. Um, very nice looking cub in silver. Uh, yeah, Flipfire. right back soon. Okay, wing building has begun in earnest. So after trial fitting everything, I've stripped it all back down, and um, first thing I'm going to make is this sub assembly, uh, which I've done here, uh, which consists of the bottom sheeting. Uh, the shear web along here and uh, this bottom spar so I've glued all that lot together and that's going to be our building block for the rest of the wing uh, and it's nice and straight it's beautifully straight actually uh, which is good so then we can start putting in things like uh, the ribs so um, I'll get on with dropping some ribs in there and come back to you. Right, okay, we're finally getting somewhere. It's all starting to make sense. Um, yeah, right, I like sub-assemblies and uh, I decided to build another one uh, on this wing, which it just makes it easier if you've got these building blocks that you can just slot together and, and then the thing's finished. So the, the trailing edge um, here, right, so this is where the aileron goes um, and this is the part in front of it, um, 
and it's this part and it's made out of uh, three parts so basically I've glued that together first uh, on the bench which enables me to get it nice and straight so then all I have to do is slot this here into this area bonk 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 I've got a nice straight bit everything will line up so um, I'm gonna pop that in now and I'll be back with you right well I'm done for the day um, got the wing glued up this far um, so it's looking pretty good I decided to put normal servos in the wing so uh, I'm not going to modify that um, yeah what more can I say really it's coming together I mean God, look at the strength that's going to be in those two uh, spars there um, yeah it's going to be nice um, dihedral is set by these two tubes there's a slight dihedral angle set into those tubes they're not parallel um, and so there should probably be a little bit of angle on this um, uh, root spar um, I set a little bit in there um, there's nothing on the drawing but um, I've just given it a little bit. I think it's only going to be like a degree or something of um, of dihedral anyway. But you can sort of see it if you look down there. You can see there's the angle. So yeah, it's coming together quite nicely actually. Um, yeah, nothing major at all. Uh, the only thing I'll probably do um, is just put a little bit of triangle somewhere around this area just to give this bit a little bit more strength. But that's it really. Um, yeah, I mean a lot of the strength in the wing is from the wing brace anyway, which is why you know this this tube isn't very long, etc., etc., etc. But I don't think this needs beefing up. Um, but you know there's just not a lot of strength in this little area here so if it was going to go it's going to go there so uh yeah that's it uh end of is it part four yeah it must be end of part four coming together nicely um hopefully tomorrow i'll get that wing finished uh and then build the other one the second one will be much quicker than the first anyway because this is just getting used to the uh the method of construction on the first one so, see you all again tomorrow. Like, comment, and subscribe. Um, yeah, if you want to send us pictures or email us or whatever, then yeah, there's the link, the old Colin finger there, up yours, mate. Uh, yeah, there you go, uh, rcmodelgeeks at gmail.com. And I'll see you all again tomorrow. Bye.